Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the fantasy novels Essence and I Am Mercy and soon to be published thriller novel She's Not Here and today we're going to be talking about how to take a professional author photo. So why do you need a professional author photo? Well, first of all, there's gonna be instances as you explore your author career that you will be doing blog interviews and different things where people are gonna be asking for your headshot and you wanna have that easy on hand so you can give it to them. So where do you get a professional headshot? Well, you can hire a professional, but that will cost you a little bit, but there's nothing stopping you from taking your own professional photo. So if you want to take your own photo, there's a few things you need to keep in mind, and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. The first thing you need to do is figure out the location you want your photo to be taken in. So when it comes to location, you want to think about colors. So when it comes to colors, I'm just going to talk about my professional headshot. Here it is. You can see that the colors are kind of neutral. The background is neutral. I'm wearing a blue blouse and, you know, things are just kind of cohesive. Now let's look at my previous author photo where the background was really green. This is a great photo. However, if you know me, my author branding is blue, gray, pink, and purple. So, with my old photo, it does not look right. With my new photo, it still has that same branding. So it's really great to take awesome photos outside, but if those photos don't go with your author branding, but if the photo you end up taking doesn't match your author branding, then you're not as cohesive. And it's great to have a co cohesive platform as an author. So for that reason, for my new author photo, I did not take my photo outside because I didn't want the greenery. I wanted something neutral and cozy, so, which is why I chose to take it inside. Now with that location in mind, I knew that I needed to create a neutral background. So to do that, I actually flipped my books around so you didn't see their spines, you only saw the pages, which was great because now all the attention was on me. <laughs> So once you've picked out a location with the right colors, you wanna next think about your outfit. So again, you wanna look professional in your outfit and you also want it to have the right colors. So think about the colors that you normally use for your, your photos on Instagram and Twitter and all that. So again, for me, that involved blue, purple, gray, and pink. So I chose a blue top. And if you notice, I'm also sitting on a purple chair so it fits my branding perfectly. Lastly, maybe the most important part of your photo is the lighting. If you don't take your photo in good lighting, it will end up grainy and not crisp. And you need a crisp photo because sometimes you may have to blow up your author photo and if it's not good quality, it's going to look fuzzy. So if you're taking photos outside, it's really easy to get good lighting, but if you're taking photos inside, you need to be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. If you don't have professional lighting that you can kind of set up behind your camera to help light up your face, you will need to keep in mind where the windows are. So you want to take a photo near a window so the light is hitting your face and doesn't give you any weird shadows. You want the lighting to be even. If you have good lighting, you don't even really need to worry about having a fancy camera. When you have good lighting, honestly, the phones these days take really awesome photos if they're in the right lighting situation. So when you're taking your photos, make sure you take a ton of photos, do a few different poses, maybe even try out a few different outfits so you have options. And then once you take all your photos, you wanna upload them onto your computer and kinda of start going through them to see how they look. You wanna choose your absolute favorite and you can only choose one and that one photo you want to upload as your profile picture everywhere this includes Facebook Twitter Instagram and YouTube and anywhere else you may be on such as Goodreads or LinkedIn this cohesiveness just makes everything much more professional and it's also very easy because when people ask for your photo, you know exactly which photo you're giving them. Anyways, that is it for today's video. That is how you take an author photo on a budget. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, that is it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.